Good morning, everybody. It is another beautiful day here on the ranch, and we thought we'd bring you guys along for some of our chores today. Good morning, little chicks. Good morning. Chief, chief, chief. Are you ready to come out and start your day? Huh? Give you some stuff to get. Some scratch. They're Everybody's hiding. They are still highly suspicious. Very. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Well, come out. Y'all are crazy. All right, we'll check on you later. Right, well, as soon as I turn the camera off, they all come running out, so now they're out. You guys are five weeks old already. All right, so now that the little ones are dealt with, they're gonna play for a while, and we'll go check on them later. It is time to get the big chickens out of the coop and fed, the turkeys to let them little T-birds out to run around, and we have to move goat fences, so see you in the pasture. Whew. All right, we got the chicken food, we got water for the waterers, because we don't have water lines up in the pasture, so we have to actually haul our water up, <clears throat> which makes for <sighs> fun chores. <laughs> Morning, T-Birds. We'll be, we'll get with you in a minute. Morning ducks. Yep. Always run in your mouth. Is your arm paralyzed? Yes. I don't know what to do with my arm. We have to have two waterers up here and a pail or a little pan because the ducks like to just lay by these waterers and just splash it in their mouth all day long and they waste all the water. So we have to have 10 gallons of water up here and a pan. Get ducks, they said. It'd be fun, they said. 
Can't even touch the damn things. All right, so now let's step over this fence without falling. Let's go get these little T-birds out of here. Morning, T-Bird. Good morning. Come on out. Keep telling these little T-birds to stop being so freaking cute because it's going to make harvest day very difficult. I know we're going to keep at least one of them, but everybody else is supposed to graduate to the freezer. Oh well. Good morning, goats. You guys ready? You've done such a good job. Yeah, it's time to move. Yep, look at all the long grass on the other side of the fence. May not be greener, but it's longer. Fence line is moved, goats are happy, lots of new tall grass for them to nibble on. So what we moved today was probably about a day's move because they'll have the majority of this grass gone today. So then tomorrow I'll bring that back end forward again and we'll stretch this out and it's all this thick. That way, the goats are always on fresh grass and helps keep, whew, these gnats are awful. Um, it helps keep down with pest issues like worms and parasites if they're forced to graze at a really low um, height of the grass. So if you keep them moving, you have a happy herd. Keeps the pasture trimmed so I don't have to drag the push mower up here because we don't have a riding mower yet. Um, and everybody's happy. <laughs> it's a win-win. The goats get the nibble, I get my pasture mode. All right, so now let's get these goats some water because we had to empty that out and clean it. And then we're gonna go check on the boo-boos. Hey girls, good morning. How are we doing? Huh? Good morning, Adele. Hi, baby. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, Dolly. I know. Is it time for breakfast? Huh? You guys, it's only just the, what is it, the second week of July, and these little girls are already, their cashmere's coming in. Dolly went from like this coarse guard hair feel, to so now she's like a cotton ball. She's so soft, and Adele's puffing up. You guys are going to be so cute in the middle of winter with your thick cashmere. Two love bugs are getting some love. 
Good morning, Freya. Good morning, Reba. Freya, every time I record you, you itch your leg. What's, what's going on? Hello. Hi, pretty girl. Adele, Dolly, you can't nibble on the camera. It doesn't make for a nice clear shot, silly goats. We don't care about the video, we want our food. Papa, give me my food. All right, ladies. Come on. Hang on, let me pull out your little mess here. Goats are nothing but hay wasters. Put a little bit everywhere because Reba's dominant and Adele is dominant, so they like to fight over who's going to get the best nibble. So there's food on both sides and a little bit in the bowl for any fighting. And we had a big bonfire the other night, um, so I'm giving them some of this these extra little charcoal bits from the chew on, uh, just because they're exploring their pen and. Some of the plants in here might upset their stomach, so I'd rather have them some uh, fresh charcoal. Ah, and it helps their digestive and it gives them some minerals. Oh, baby. Oh, my goodness, you're starting to fluff up. Look at all this fluff. <coughs> Coronavirus. We about to talk coughing in public. You ain't not allowed to do that these days. Not in public. It's true. Solid. She feels so much different than them. Cause they're so soft and fluffy, and she's it's got that boar coat, that coarseness. That's this my, is Rob's baby. It's my Freya. That's his love. She sheds. Mm-hmm. This means she needs extra love. Yeah. Where you been? <laughs> Chores are done. No, they're not. Oh, the pig. the pig. I always forget about chunks. Dexter, you're like a little gargoyle, just always hanging out. You can see that bald spot on his tail. He got bit by a, a snake down here. I'm assuming it was a copperhead just because the Dexter made it, he didn't die. Um, but he had two big fang marks in his tail and it swole up and got all pussy. And um, it's taken it, it's been like almost three months and it's healed up, but it's still bald from where it got a bad fever. And he's 11 years old and still kicking even through a snake bite. Unfortunately, one of our other cats, Raven, she went missing weeks ago. 
and has never come back. So she either went over the wrong side of the mountain and couldn't find her way back or something got her. So that's a development we haven't shared yet, but that's been kind of sad. But that comes with outside cats, you know, it's just part of it. So, as you can see, Peepers is back with Chunks. He's no longer with the ducks that were at the other end over here. Um, we ended up moving the ducks back up with the chickens like you saw, just because it was too difficult to deal with them. They really weren't doing what we were hoping they were gonna do down there. So it was just easier to move them up there and Peepers didn't really get along with them very well. So uh, he, we put him back with his pig. And uh, you can tell that uh, Chunks has been doing some uh, excavating for us and being a brat and tearing up her, her lovely little hut there that we made her, so we have to get her a new tarp because she can't have nothing nice. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining us today for our chores. Tune in every week for new videos, and until next time, bye guys, love ya.